So welcome back. Now I want you to brainstorm the value that you have to offer. So what is the true value of what you have to give, whether it's your product or services? So ask yourself, what does it cost potential clients to not do business with you? And a lot of times, and I talked about this in other courses, is that you know we minimize the impact that it, we can have because we only see it from one perspective. The, we don't see how it intertwines the different aspects of our lives. A lot of things that we do, because something that makes us feel good, for example, I talk a lot about the uh, having someone that owns a carousel at the mall, and they could just say, well, I just own a carousel. Its value is 50 cents, the kid goes a ride and go around in circles for like a minute and a half, and they're like, yay, go home. Or they can see the impact that it can have. If the kid was bullied at school and the parents able to take him there and like change his state of mind from feeling down, sad, angry to all of a sudden being empowered and happy and joyous, you know, how much is that state of mind shift worth? If a parent has a hard time going through the mall with people because the kid is acting up and she says, if you act up, if you, for the two hours that we're going to have, if you listen, follow instructions, you're going to get to ride that at the end and they're so excited that they're like in their best behaviors so what is that state of peace that they receive from it what was that good interaction between parent and child worth for two hours because they wanted to ride that carousel was it worth 50 cents was it worth five dollars some parents will tell you that it'd be worth a lot more than that so again understanding that everything is interconnected and for example i used to do relationship workshops uh, for corporations. And initially when I started, some of the um, corporations and companies and nonprofits would tell me, why would I be doing relationship workshops to help them on their marriages or help them with their boyfriend and girlfriend in my company? It's not helping my bottom line. And then I would point out how it really is helping their bottom line. Because a lot of stress and struggles and productivity come from issues within their home, whether it's relationship with their children, relationship with a spouse. And one of the reasons that most people miss most of the work in their life is when they're going through a divorce. The unproductivity of that divorce process, the stress, the time consumption, the energy. So when you have stable relationships, for example, a company can thrive. If people working for you have stable relationships, they're more productive, they're happier, and that happiness actually impacts them, the relationships at work. So once we're able to show them, not, not only just saying it, but with stats and things like that, they'll be like, oh, I want you to come and do a relationship workshop in my office. Because I see the bottom line, how it's going to impact productivity, team building, how it's going to impact what they're able to do, their happiness, their joy, and what they bring to the environment, to our clients. So then they can see the bigger picture. And obviously, they're learning skills that they'll also be able to apply to relationships within the workforce. Same thing could be said. If you relieve pain as part of your services that you do or products that you have, how does that pain impact the person's life? Does it impact them emotionally? And if it does, how does their state of how they feel impact their relationships, impact their careers, impact their productivity, impact their health in general. So everything intertwines in some way or another. It's for you to be able to see how it intertwines. Are they able to be better emotionally? Are they able to think clearly because of what you have to offer? Are they able to grow? in a way that they didn't think was possible? Are they gonna be able to make more money? Are they gonna be able to be better parents? Whatever it may be that you're offering can help in some way or another. You can be a hairstylist and say, well, how does my work transform people's lives? It does. Because when you cut someone's hair, they feel good. They look in the mirror and say, wow, Joel, you're looking good. I'm gonna be more empowered. I'm gonna be more confident. My approach to people, to my coworkers, to my boss, to my wife, to my children, my energy level is going to be way different. So again, look at it from that perspective and ask yourself, what will my clients receive in return of doing business with me?
What does that return look like? And what is the time frame for that return? It's important for people to know what time frame it is. So for a low carousel, it might be a minute and a half. You might have a program that it's three months into the program. You might have a workshop that's four hour workshop. And that's the time frame that it takes you to really transform people's lives to some level. So the question that then you ask your clients is how much will you save time, energy, resources, pain, if you understood or experienced this, if this product or services gave you this, what, how much will it save you? Because again, there's probably a higher cost than you can think. The point is to help you determine how much to charge. What is your baseline? What is your true value? Because even if you don't charge, you say, well, that's really priceless. Well, it probably is. But what if you only charge, you say, well, I feel comfortable charging $50, $100, $30, whatever it may be. The point is that if you understand the value of what you have to give, you can say that with certainty. And the difference in making someone see your value is if you believe your value. Because again, most communication is nonverbal. So if you believe it, if you let go of that resistance, if you understand your true value, people will be able to see that without you even having to open your mouth. And obviously you're gonna have to explain it to them, but just by your body language, you'll be able to do that. You see, when they look at people that are the most influential, whether it's sales, or whether it's people, dictators, or whether it's somebody changing the world like Gandhi, Part of what makes them able to move people and sway people to invest in their movement, whether it's financially, whether it's their time and energy, is their confidence and belief system and what they bring to the table. The value that they know that they bring to the table. So brainstorm that, write it down, understand your value, recognize your value, because if you do that, you will have the opportunity to not only transform your life, but also actually transform the lives of the people you want to transform because they will see the value. They will invest in you. And not only that, once they invest in you, they'll have followed through because they believe that you're valuable in what you have to give. Thank you.